Uh, the president of the Basketball Federation, Musa Kida, said he looks forward to a better 2021 after what seems to be a successful 2020 for both the Tigers and the Tigers, talking about the national team for both the male and female. Now, the president also expressed his hurt over the continued absence of a robust Premier League for men, which for the past three years has been at the center of a legal tussle. Now, what are we really doing with our basketball in this country? Today we're here because I spoke to a couple of basketballers and they are all bitter because they've not been able to play active basketball in the league for over three years. It doesn't, it doesn't say well for our country. I think we should first of all educate um, the average fan mm. or you know, out there who doesn't understand what's happening. Musa Kida went with um, head on in an election mm. against Jani Umar. Yeah. And um, he won. Um, there were a lot of um, squabbles after the, the victory. Now, Musa Kida took on the international basketball scene yeah. and left the local scene to Tijani Umar. And I think he's done a very good job, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, he's been able to lure a lot of um, Nigerian basketballers based abroad mm -hmm. um, to come play for the Tigers, telling them, listen, guys, you cannot. With the help from Ulubi and the rest of them, they were actually able to lure Nigerian-born basketball players in the NBA and all that to come to Nigeria. And you can't make the dream team. Come mm -hmm. to the Tigers, and we are number one in Africa. That's the that's the the the, the, the ex, after passing the exams. Mm -hmm. Now the Tigers have also gone abroad to go and look for Nigerian-born females yeah. who actually play abroad, and of course now now they they are playing for the Tigers, number one in Africa too. However, I think Musa Kida is playing villain and saints at mm -hmm. the same time. Saints because he has done so well with basketball on the international scene, mm -hmm. but villain. Because if you ask my opinion, he's in courts. Yeah. It's because of the court case, that's why our Niger Nigerian league has not begun. So if Musa Kida comes out to tell the world that, listen, I am sad that the Nigerian league, basketball league has not resumed, mm. please let's educate the public that, listen, the reason why it's not resumed is because Musa Kida and Jani Umar are in courts. Mm -hmm. So wh 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 why come um, he's talking from both sides of the mouth? Yeah. As in, you are the reason why the league has not resumed. Yeah. And you are taking care of your business by making sure on the international scene we're doing so, so well. Yeah. And on the local scene, no games for the male, male counterparts because there's a court case. Mm. So I think uh, Musa Kida should not throw stones if he lives in a glass house. Mm. You know? What Musa is doing is um, he's trying to make the world see him as, I'm the good guy. Yeah. You have done so well on the international scene. Stick to that. Mm. Don't try and play good guy and play the, the victim by saying that you are sad that the league is not in, 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 in this because of, of a court case. Yeah. You are the reason why there's a court case. You know, um, looking back at um, the qualifiers that w went down sometime last year in Lagos National Stadium, to be precise, I saw how the players performed, and I also had a talk with them before they traveled. Uh, they said they had a bit of funding challenges and all that, which was later um, settled. But have you ever thought of this? If we don't have players from the foreign scene, it means our position as number one in, in, in Africa will be threatened because we don't even have the players who would play basketball for Nigeria for, from the local scene because they are not even, they've not been training. Yeah. No club action, nothing has been going positively well for them. So it, it, have, it should have been a disaster for basketball on the local front representing Nigeria. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, as a reporter and presenter, mm. um, I was, we, we all always including you, we all always enjoyed going to the stadium to watch the basketball. Sure. And after the game, we go outside and then that joint and then we have fun, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's on the side. But um, it, it's sad that we, we can't have those Wednesdays and weekends anymore to actually True. hang out. Most of us um, sports journalists are actually very busy. Mm -hmm. So when we tell our bosses that, listen, we want to go and cover basketball, we know it's all about meeting each other again after a long while and having mm -hmm. fun together True. and also watching basketball and working and playing at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not there anymore. And um, it's sad, um, Udoka, that um, we're building a structure in the sky without a foundation. What I mean is we're building a basketball team, a formidable basketball team, national team, with players abroad. Yeah. And then the foundation, which should be Nigerian players playing here, are not it's playing. It's to be found. Even so the it's, it's as good as building a, a castle in the sky yeah. with no foundation. We've got a fantastic team. The castle is fine. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. but no foundation. Where all our players are abroad. Most of them were born in Nigeria. Some were not, but claim they're Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And they realized that, listen, I can't make the, the, the dream team, national team, USA national team. Let me come and play my, my fatherland, Nigeria. So if push comes to shove, mm. 
and then we have to do a quick fix and get it trim quickly to actually play a competition. We have to start looking for visa for them and making sure they come to Africa and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We can't just go to Dodan Warriors or First Bank or something and pick them and say, guys, go Let's do go it. Play. You know? So it, 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 it's sad. And I think um, we're, we're going to where football has gone. You know? We're, we're not seeing what we're doing to ourselves yet um, mm -hmm. until it happens. I'll tell you what I mean. Let me digress a bit. Yeah. Football, for example. Our league is practically never functioning. True. And then we go abroad to go and look for players in Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Kazakhstan, and bring the Super Eagles to come and play for us. And then on the continent, we're seeing how Aimba is doing on the continent. We're seeing what Kanan Pillars is doing. Mm. They are making, they are, they are embarrassing the country totally. Yeah. These, these teams come to Nigeria and beat them silly. Mm -hmm. That's because there is no league. How can you expect Aimba or Kanan Pillars to do well when the, the teams they are playing are in regular league already, their leagues True. are functioning. And, Ours and, is not. And some of these players playing in the leagues over there also represent their countries. Exactly. Our, le our leagues are not functioning. Basketball, mm. football and the rest of them. And so, you see, you must understand, I think our, Niger our guys in charge, you realize that, listen, you can't, we can't always expect a miracle. Yeah, true. Look at our um, um, athletes. The Paralympians. Yeah. We don't give them anything. We don't, they, 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 they walk, they, they, they actually wheel their chairs from barracks, bus stop to National Stadium. True. They train. After training, they drink sachet water. They eat rice, yam and beans and mm -hmm. fish. They don't have tablets to Some actually them control su su traffic. supplements. Yeah. Yes, supplements and all that. And then they still go for the Olympic Games and go and compete against people who, are, who, who have trained with regular structures mm -hmm. and still win gold. True. Nigeria, we don't give them anything and we expect a miracle. Mm. Our own athletes, I know a period I was there in, at the Olympics and Blessing refused to run, Okagbari. She said I wasn't running. And the journalist went to her, the minister went to her, and she said, listen, you are giving us $100 a day. Mm. In the last three days, you've not given us the money. Mm -hmm. And one minister has actually accrued £2,100 for watching porn. <laughs> wow. Two thousand one hundred pounds for watching porn. Mm. The minister is never his post minister. He just part of the electorate come and watch game. Yeah. And then the hundred dollars to go to the athletes didn't come to them. And then a minister of a different portfolio was actually owing two thousand one hundred pounds for actually watching porn. porn. Now you see, we don't have our priorities right. Mm. We should understand that listen, it will come back to haunt us. True. Now in football is haunting us right now. Mm -hmm. There is no league. We are setting canopies to do well. Exactly. Aimba to do well. Mm. Thankfully, they are not doing well. Like, I mm. pray they didn't do well. And they're not doing well. <laughs> well. Listen, if we don't make mistakes, we won't correct them. Mm, very true. 